Baby Wombat Pet Care. There's a new contender vying for the title of Ultimate Cuteness, the Baby Wombat, or Joey. With their oversized noses, button eyes, and soft fur, these little marsupials can melt even the stoniest of hearts. But before you envision a Joey snuggled contentedly in your lap, a word of caution. These captivating creatures have very specific needs that are far from your typical house pet. However, fear not, Wombat Admirer. This guide will be your compass, navigating the fascinating and sometimes messy world of baby Wombat care. We'll delve into the secrets of keeping these little burrowers toasty warm. Think internal hot water bottle. Unveil the mysteries of their specialized milk diet, which is a far cry from kibble, and explore the unique challenges and rewards of raising a joey. So buckle up and prepare to be charmed by the wonder of wombat parenthood, without the actual parenthood part, of course. Dare to dream wild, folks, because here at Legalized Exotic Pets, we make the impossible. Paw Sybil. Now, before we go on with the video, make sure to support the channel by giving us a thumbs up, subscribe to the Legalized Exotic Pets, and smash the bell icon to get notified when we post more exciting and pawsome content like this one. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, baby wombat, pet care 101. But first, let's spill the beans on what we're dealing with here officially known as Vombatus ursinus, though common wombat, works too. These marsupial marvels are found down under, munching on grasses and living a life less ordinary. Imagine a three-foot-long, stocky mammal with a thick coat of grayish-brown fur. Picture short, powerful legs perfect for digging impressive burrows. And don't forget the sharp claws. A wombat's gotta have its landscaping tools. But here's the surprising part. Unlike their kangaroo cousins, a wombat mom's pouch faces backward. This ingenious adaptation keeps dirt out while she's creating those underground masterpieces. Wombats are solitary herbivores, meaning they prefer their own company and a steady diet of plants. And speaking of plants, their digestive system is something to write home about or rather, write a scientific paper about. Wombats are the only animals known to produce cube-shaped poop. Scientists are still figuring out the exact reason, but hey, it's a fun fact to impress your friends, just maybe not at the dinner table. So the next time you think of Australia, consider the wombat, a unique, fascinating creature with a whole lot of personality packed into a surprisingly strong and, well, cube package. But what's even cuter than a wombat? Well, you've guessed it, a baby wombat, of course. Imagine a world the size of your thumb. That's all the space a newborn wombat, called a joey, has when it first enters the world. Unlike human babies, joeys are born incredibly tiny and helpless. Luckily, Mama Wombat has a secret weapon, her pouch. This built-in nursery is a warm, safe haven where joeys can snuggle up, snooze, and grow for months before venturing out. But hold on, there's more to the wombat story. There are actually three different wombat teams in Australia, each with their own style. The common wombat, also known as the bare-nosed wombat, is the most famous with its smooth snout. Then there's the southern hairy-nosed wombat, and the northern hairy-nosed wombat, rocking some impressive facial fuzz. No matter the species, all joeys rely on their mama's pouches for a cozy start in life. While these little guys are undeniably adorable, caring for a joey is a serious job best left to wildlife professionals. They have the expertise and resources to give joeys the specialized care they need to thrive. So. If you ever encounter a joey, the kindest thing you can do is contact your local wildlife experts. They'll ensure the little one gets the best chance to grow up big and strong, ready to conquer the world, or at least dig some amazing burrows. 
Now you may be wondering, how can the professionals help me? Well, listen closely because here's how. Wombat SOS. Why wildlife experts are the Joey Whisperers. Before you scoop it up, here's the secret. Joeys are like special ops babies, needing specialized care to become the burrowing champions they're meant to be. That's where wildlife rehabilitation centers come in, like superhero headquarters for lost and lonely Joeys. These centers are staffed with experts who are basically Joey whisperers. They have the experience and the permits to handle these precious creatures, ensuring they get the right food, not just any leaves. Stay toasty warm, think living hot water bottle, and learn all the important wombat skills, like digging like a champ and avoiding grumpy Tasmanian devils. The ultimate goal for any Joey is to return to the wild, strong, and independent. Wildlife experts know exactly how to socialize joeys with others, teach them survival skills, and eventually release them back into their natural habitat. It's a team effort, and these experts are the secret weapon that helps joeys graduate from pouch potatoes to burrowing superstars. Don't be a wombat outlaw. Why permits matter. Think of permits like special licenses to be a Joey superhero. Wildlife organizations are like the official training grounds and they know exactly what Joeys need to thrive. They can advise you on the legalities in your area because let's face it, accidentally becoming a wombat outlaw isn't the best look. Here's the thing. Joeys have very specific needs. They need a special diet to grow strong, not just any old leaves you find in the park. Plus, they need to learn how to interact with other wombats, which is kind of hard to do from your living room couch. Wildlife organizations have the knowledge and resources to provide all that and more. They can also help reunite joeys with their moms if possible, which is always the best outcome. So if you find a joey, the heroic thing to do is contact your local wildlife experts. They'll be your partner in crime fighting, wildlife crime that is, making sure the joey gets the best care and a chance to return to the wild, a happy ending for everyone involved. Before we go on with the video, Make sure to support the channel by giving us a thumbs up, subscribe to the legalized exotic pets, and smash the bell icon to get notified when we post more exciting and pawsome content like this one. Now, where were we? Uh, yes, the different types of exotic pets. But what should you do when you suddenly encounter a baby wombat? Or what if you do decide to foster one? Imagine stumbling upon a tiny, shivering joey. It's tempting to scoop it up for cuddles, but resist the urge. These little marsupial marvels are super sensitive. The best thing you can do is mimic mom's cozy pouch. Fashion a makeshift one from a soft towel or blanket. Think wombat burrito. Then find a quiet dark spot, maybe a box lined with towels. This will keep the joey warm and calm while you call for help. Remember, less handling is more when it comes to stressed out joeys. Baby wombats or joeys are basically living hot water bottles. They need to stay toasty warm to thrive. Think about it. They spend their early days snuggled up inside their mom's pouch. If you find a joey, Mimicking that warmth is key. Here's the trick. Grab a hot water bottle, wrap it securely in a towel, safety first, and tuck it near the joey in its makeshift pouch. You can even try gently holding the pouch close to your body, heat for a little extra warmth. Remember, joeys need temperatures similar to ours, around 97 degrees Fahrenheit so keeping them cozy is crucial. The last thing a baby wombat needs is a noisy, chaotic scene. So here's the secret. Think wombat zen zone. Find a quiet, dark place. 
maybe a spare room, or even a box lined with towels. This will feel calming and familiar like being back in mom's pouch. Remember, the less you handle the Joey, the better. Think of yourself as a friendly neighborhood bodyguard, keeping an eye on things, but giving the Joey space to rest. Now, go grab that soft towel and create a cozy haven. A little peace and quiet goes a long way for a stressed out Joey. Now, Joey's aren't exactly pizza and fries kind of eaters. They have a very specific taste for something called wombat milk. Now, this isn't something you'll find at the grocery store. It's a special kind of milk packed with all the nutrients a Joey needs to grow big and strong. Here's the deal. If you find a Joey, forget the cow's milk or baby formula. It won't do. Instead, contact your local wildlife experts. They're basically Joey superheroes. They can recommend a specialized milk formula that mimics the goodness of wombat milk. They'll also show you the proper feeding schedule. Tiny tummies need small, frequent meals. Remember, the right food is key to keeping your little friend healthy and happy. While a clean environment is important for a Joey, here's a surprising fact. Their mom's pouch actually has a special scent. This secret weapon helps Mama Wombat recognize her Joey. So when creating a makeshift pouch, keep it clean, but don't wash away all the natural smells. Think of it like a cozy, familiar blanket, comforting and safe for your little friend. Lastly, as your little Joey grows out of the burrito stage, it's playtime. But forget squeaky toys and chew rings. These future burrowing champions need activities that mimic their natural world. Think, dig this. Provide a shallow box filled with dirt or shredded paper, a safe place to practice their digging skills. You can even hide some yummy treats, think veggies, for a fun foraging challenge. Remember, keeping a Joey mentally stimulated is key to preparing them for life as a burrowing boss. Remember, while these fuzzy friends might steal your heart, raising them is a specialist job. Wildlife experts are the real Joey whisperers, giving them the care and training they need to return to the wild. The ultimate goal is to see these little guys graduate from burrito babies to burrowing champions, thriving in their natural habitat. So, if you ever encounter a Joey, the kindest thing you can do is contact your local wildlife experts. They'll be your partner in giving that Joey the best shot at a wild and wonderful life. And hey, who knows, you might even get to see them graduate back into the great outdoors. And that wraps up today's adventure in Baby Wombat Pet Care 101. We hope our insights have shed some light on what one should do when you encounter or even foster a baby wombat. Are there any more exotic pets you'd like us to cover? Sound off below and let us know in the comment section. We'd love to hear about it. Stick around for our next installment and join us again for more exciting discoveries right here at Legalized Exotic Pets. Until next time.